The season finale of Top Chef just shot right here in Milwaukee. Wrapped up tonight, local chef Dan Jacobs competed in the finals and a crowd gathered to cheer him on in Walker's Point. Mike Biermeister talked with fans of the culinary competition, excited about the national spotlight on the city's food scene. Mike joining us live now and we were all on pins and needles as we just learned the results, Mike. Yeah, it really felt like Chef Dan Jacobs was going to win, not only by the applause from the judges, but also the folks here at Zocalo. Sadly, he came up short, but to many, he and this season are still winners. Top Chef fans coming together to celebrate Milwaukee's Chef Dan Jacobs in the finals and the end of a successful season featuring Wisconsin. It's a season lifelong fan Amanda Schroeder has been glued to since the announcement that the show would be filmed here. What's been your favorite part about watching Wisconsin in the spotlight on Top Chef? What, what have you taken away from this season? I am so proud of our city. I mean, I'm always proud of our city. I'm such a big fan in general of Milwaukee, but to see how it was portrayed. I think they did such a great job. Schroeder tells me she really appreciated all of the unique challenges that highlighted some of Wisconsin's most interesting traditions. The fish boil was fun just because I'm not a fish boil fan, but seeing the different dishes they made, I actually would try those and probably enjoy them. And I thought doing it at Grant Park was so cool. Even though longtime Top Chef fan Leah Bird lives in Milwaukee, she still felt like she learned a lot about not only her city, but the whole state. What's one thing you take away from this season and uh, the way that they showcase Wisconsin? Restaurants they visited, um, writing some of those down, putting those on my list of things to do around the city. That was great. Learned, I'm always looking for somewhere new to eat. Why not? <laughs> and while both of these longtime fans were cheering for the hometown favorite, they were also cheering for Milwaukee and Wisconsin's time in the culinary spotlight. And while he didn't win, Jacob said he came here and he did what he had to do, which is inspire others to follow their dreams. Live in Walker's Point, Mike Biermeister, TMJ4 News. A mission he accomplished. Thanks, Mike.